No guys, this isn't a troll video. I have had enough fun for another couple of months. I mean, triggering people is my forte, but enough is enough. I apologize. But yeah, this is a genuine subject I found interesting to talk about over on Twitter yesterday. So I'm curious to know your guys' thoughts as well. Today, I think I have the answer, but nothing is confirmed. And that is to the question of who is carrying Cade in a Forsaken trailer outro. But hey guys, before we check that out, I want to give something back to those of you who have genuinely been supporting me and my channel. So I am giving away a fully customizable controller from Controller Mods for either PlayStation or Xbox designed to exactly how you want it. To enter the giveaway, simply hit that thumbs up button on this video and leave a comment down below. Enter the giveaway via the link within the video description. Simple, easy and legit. Good luck you sexy bastards. Okay, so I have heard some fascinating theories on who is carrying Cade within this image on screen now. Going off what we have in the image, all we can really make out is that this is definitely a hunter. So a common name I keep hearing pop up, and that is Ace Cade's son. Now all we know about Ace is, is what we have within Cade's journal notes. But according to them, Ace is dead. But is he? Is he actually dead? Now for a couple of reasons this would be seriously interesting. For us though, what we know about within the law, his son is dead, but is he actually? We thought Alsa Bray was dead, but now it seems as though she is the exo stranger. So you just never know people. But even so, as much as I'd love to learn about Ace and his father Cade and their relationship, I just don't know people, I really don't. Cade became an exo, and if you didn't know guys, Cade doesn't remember his son. After he turned exo and was raised, he as exos do, I believe lost his memory. So his journal is all he has to go by. So is he dead? We just don't know. Here's a theory for you, extremely far-fetched. Well, what if Cade's son Ace is actually Uldren? Uldren kills his father because he feels Cade abandoned him and his mother as a kid. There is plenty about the Awoken and the Reef within Cade's journal notes, so I wouldn't be surprised. Remember guys, you heard it here first. Plus, it would kind of make sense as to the whole Ace of Spades being used to kill Cade and the whole Cade Ace of Spades biggie, which if you think about it, really shouldn't be if you haven't figured it yet. The theme behind this DLC does seem to well put Cade dying to the Ace of Spades at the centre. The trailer we see Cade being killed by Aldrin using the Ace of Spades. The DLC poster theme which makes a big thing out of the Ace of Spades. And even the DLC pre-order extras which I do believe will also hold some clues. But yeah for me there is definitely something going on here. Really interesting to find out what that is. Even though the whole Aldrin being Ace is super far fetched. You just never know people. The problem is we have no images of Ace. So we can't really compare him to this Guardian carrying Cade. Is he dead? Maybe. Can he return? Most definitely. We know these people. But although we have no image of Ace, we do have an image of Aldrin. And to be honest, the capes do kind of look quite similar if you look at this image on screen now. But then one asks why kill him then carry him off? I mean there could be something else behind this kind of story, but hey it's all speculation at the moment and we won't really find out until the DLC drops in September. So next up is a name I keep on hearing is the Exo Stranger. Yes many people, if not believing it's her, they want to see it happen. So why would Elsie Bray or the Exo Stranger even care enough about saving Cade or at least his body? Well to be honest guys your guess is as good as mine. I mean there are connections between Cade and Clovis Bray. Cade sits once spoke of a woman within dialogue found within a secret room within the Devil's Spire in Destiny 1. When you go into this room, scan this card, he states, Yeah, I had a whole system to keep track of things. The royal card stood for weapons, spades meant hacker, clubs for Crook Lamar, diamonds for Amalan and hearts, while well, hearts were for this girl I knew. It's like there's no rules. A jack of spades? Yeah, I had a whole system to keep track of things. The royal card stood for weapons. Spades meant hake, clubs for Crux Lomar, diamonds for Amalon, and hearts. <laughs> well, hearts were for this girl I knew. What was her name? Uh, don't you have a stealth drive to find? I mean, could this girl indeed be Elsie Bray? Or what once was Elsie Bray? I mean, it could make sense. But will it? I don't know people. Cade had a wife, he had a son, but he also had a debt to Clovis Bray and to avoid the large amount of debt over his head, he became a test subject. Hence why I believe he's now an exo. So his ties with the Brays are definitely there. Now here we can confirm, we have many images of the exo stranger. Now if we look, the exo stranger's cape is nothing like what we see here. I mean, it doesn't really eliminate her. There could be numerous reasons. 
to her cape being different, but also the spikes on her arm ain't there too. I mean as much as I love the idea of the Exo Stranger coming back and saving Abby Love Cade, or at least saving his body, I just ain't sure it's her guys. But what do you think about this theory? Let me know down below. Now the person I instantly thought this hunter was is a representation of our own guardians, which is what many think this is. At the start of the VDOT -like reveal, we see a hunter land on the roof of Cade, and it's this hunter many think is a representation of our guardians, and this I agree on for sure. The guardian landing with Cade on the roof is us, I'm certain of it. But that doesn't mean the same guardian is the one we see carrying Cade off. First off, the capes are completely different, the hunter carrying Cade, his cape is much longer, almost to the floor, and is way more torn, like it's in the face of battle much more. The cape design itself is completely different also. The hunter which lands on the reef with Cade, his cape has a variety of different colours, so does his armour, plus what we see on his arms is not in his image on this hunter carrying Cade away. The hunter which is seen carrying Cade off has a rag tied around his left arm, almost in the exact position the warlock bun lays, also not seen on the guardian landing on the reef. Cade. So as much as in a way I can see where people are coming from saying it's our own guardian carrying Cade off, I just don't see it this way. I mean we landed with Cade and we carry away his corpse, why didn't we help him when he needed it? It doesn't make sense for sure. Plus also the fact this is one of the main images behind a DLC. To have our guardian at the forefront would make sense if hunters were the only class. We ain't. What about Titans and Warlocks? This wouldn't fit the scenario. If you look at all the covers of the game and its expansions in the past, you won't find a single cover or poster with only one Guardian class on it, unless there's a variety of that said poster. Usually they show all classes, if they show Guardians at all, when referring to us as a player within adverts and posters as such. To single out a class for the forefront of a DLC, to this extent in my opinion, isn't what Destiny is all about. The Guardian carrying Cade in my opinion has much more of an impact on this story for us to explore, more so than we can speculate over at this point seeing only a few images and teaser trailers. If they wanted to make it clear that this was our Guardian carrying Cade off, I'm pretty sure alternate posters would have been made, or the image would also showcase a Warlock and Titan within it somewhere. Easily incorporated into the background, say fighting enough enemies while the hunter escorts Cade's body or something along those lines. So yeah, I'm not sure it's a representation of our guardians in game people. I mean it could be, but I'm not sure. Now this is a crazy one, but then again as crazy as it may seem, it's actually not so crazy when you hear about the other theories. But this is a theory I come to try and figure out who the hunter was by trying to find a fellow hunter wearing that same cape. I searched high and low, hunters believed to be alive. Hunters that are dead, Anna Bray, Anna Hera 3, Andor Brask, Dragon Yor, Ephrodi, Eris Morn, Gillian, Jerem Ward, Omar Aga, Perrin, Quantis Ree, Sai Morta, Shin Malfa, Shiro 4, Tevis, you name them, I researched them, and I apologise if that's not how you pronounce the name, it's all foreign to me. But researching all what I had, I had absolutely no luck at all. And then I was down to the last hunter I knew Cade. Yeah, Cade. So why would Cade and how would Cade be carrying his own corpse away? Well I have no idea either. But I went back to Destiny 1 where we had a decent view of his cape and to be honest it matches almost perfectly. What also matches people is the boots the Guardian is wearing who is carrying Cade away. They are identical to those of which Cade wears. So what is going on here? Cade 7? And before you spam the comments with Cade's ghost is dead, he can't be revived, blah blah blah. Watch Bryce's video, he points out Cade can't be revived or his conscience can't be transferred if his ghost is dead, blah blah blah. I know guys, I know, I've watched Bryce's video, it's amazing and I ain't going against that. It's basically factual going by the law if indeed his ghost was destroyed. I mean we see it getting shot for sure. Do we see it destroyed? Do we see it smashed to bits? Do we see its little light go out? I don't remember we do. Now I ain't saying Cade's not dead, in fact after this trailer of him being shot in the face, I actually hope here he does die. If he don't it will take away the emotion that I want to feel going into the story and chasing Prince Aldrin. If Cade's alive, that feeling won't be there. But how can Cade 7 exist without there being a Cade 6? Well if it's true about Exos and when they are rebooted they lose all memory, it theoretically means Cade 6 wasn't really Cade 5. When you think about it like that, it's just the same shot. Now I've seen the Eurogamer interview with Bungie's uh, Christopher Barrett and Scott Taylor where they confirm Cade 6 is dead for good. I believe that too. 
Nathan Fillion also believed his contract was coming to an end and I heard rumours of him asking Bungie for way more money than they were willing to pay. So yeah, killing off his character makes sense. So what's going on here people? I have no idea. But why is this hunter here? Is a new Vanguard hunter? Rep. The time gate he seems to be carrying Cade to is his way of showing his respects to us and the Vanguard. Maybe it's Cade from the past? I just don't know people. But like I said, the only hunter I could find with a matching cape and while boots also was Cade himself. Does it make sense? No it don't guys. Could it make sense? While well, considering Braytech, what they do, Exos, Cade basically being a test dummy. Who's to say the experiments they did on him being a test dummy wasn't something of which this DLC reveals to be something new to us? Who knows? And I'm gonna leave it at that, guys. Who is this hunter carrying Cade away? Your guess is as good as mine. Let me know your thoughts on this down below within that comments section, people. I look forward to your replies. Let me know your theory on it and let me know who you think it is. On that note guys, I am out. Thanks as always for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like truly helps me out. If you are new around here, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.